Let's get so much more out of archiving and setting reminders here within Google Keep. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And today I want to take a closer look at two features within Google Keep, the archive feature, but also the reminder feature, and show you perhaps some brand new ways on how you can use these features to get so much more out of your note taking and organizing all of your information here within Keep. You know, a common refrain that I hear is that people are having too many notes and too much information here on the Google Keep home screen. However, by using the archive function, we can find a brand new way and a much more efficient way to keep the home screen nice and clear. Now, you're probably already familiar with adding labels to your notes. And here you see I have a few sample notes uh, with some of the labels here, work, uh, this one's labeled family, this one's labeled personal. And if I select the label on the left-hand side, you know, I can quickly narrow down and see just those notes. Here are just my work notes. If I select family, here is my single family note at this given time. But if I go back to that home screen, they're all going to be presented to me, sort of somewhat jumbled together, right? I can drag them uh, side by side. If I want to group work together, I can move them around if I need to. But you may have 50 or maybe even 100 notes staring back at you here on the home screen. Well, one great workaround is to use the archive function. Now, don't be scared of using archive. Within Keep, archive does not mean that it's going to put the note in some kind of hidden, hard to reach place. No, when you archive a note within Keep, essentially it is just removing it here from the home screen. Let me give you an example. Here are my three work notes here at the top. I'm going to select archive on all three of them. And of course, they have now removed from my home screen. But if I select my work label here on the left hand side, there they are just ready for me to continue to interact with. I can add notes, I can add further content, pictures, I can check off these things here within my to-do list. They are completely fully functional for me to use and for me to manage, whether I'm here in the desktop view or on a mobile device. So something you may want to consider is getting into the habit of archiving almost everything within Google Keep. And then it keeps your home screen nice and clean. Here you see I have no notes at the moment, but if I go to my labels, I can see them and interact with them and deal with them here. Now again, this does not affect your ability to search for them or to add further information. It simply is keeping it away from your home screen and you can find it here within your labels. So I'm going to send this one. I'm going to unarchive this one for a second just to show you that things that are unarchived within labels are going to appear at the top and your archive notes will appear at the bottom. But I'm also going to take this uh, work label off for just a moment. I'm going to send it back to the home screen. Because next up, I want to show you a new way of using the remind option, or at least a way that perhaps you haven't used it before in the past. So you may be familiar with apply applying a reminder to some of your notes. Now, one of the great benefits of applying a reminder within Google Keep is that this will also appear on your Google Calendar. So you can see it, you can actually read and interact with that note within Google Calendar. But what a lot of people don't make use of is using a recurring reminder for some of their notes or perhaps a checklist. So here I have a note that says, review all comments on my YouTube channel. And let's say I'd like to do this once a week. So I'm going to start by picking a specific date and time because I want to make sure it's on a Monday. So I'm going to select the next Monday here. I'm going to sp select a specific time. I'm going to say Monday morning at 8 a.m. And it's this last option that by default is going to say does not repeat, but I'm going to select it. And in this case, I'm going to select weekly. Now, of course, you can select a different option or select custom to give you many further choices as to how you'd like this recurring 
annoying reminder to behave. But in this case, I'm just going to select weekly. So starting this Monday at 8 a.m., it's going to give me this reminder. I'm going to select save. And here you can see I have almost a new type of label. Uh, it shows like a label. Of course, it's telling me when this is going to remind me and that it is a recurring reminder. But the great thing is, is that I can select the reminders option here within the menu and it's going to filter all of my notes that have a reminder associated with it. Here you can see both of these are actually going to come up at the exact same time. So I can go in and I can edit that time if I don't want them to appear at the same time. But I can always get a very quick glance of all of the notes that have a reminder attached to them. And if I want to go one step further, if this is a work activity, of course, I can add that label. I can add it as a work label. Another reminder that you can have more than one label attached to a single note. But in this case, I'm just going to apply it to work. And lastly, I'm going to hit archive. Once again, I've got a clean home screen here on the front page of Google Keep. Maybe I only want to keep my tasks or my, my notes from today on this screen and perhaps I've gotten into the habit of just archiving everything at the end of the day. So everything is nice and clean here but if I go into work I can see all of my work notes here and if I select reminders I can only see those notes which will remind me in the future. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I would love to hear from you next. What are some of your favorite tips to get the most out of Google Keep? As you manage all of your notes, all of your information, perhaps your to-dos, what is your favorite tip for getting the most out of Google Keep? Be sure to leave your answer in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you'd like to see more Simpletivity, you can watch another video right here. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.